Welcome back to Ozarks Fox AM. I recently got to visit with some really great people who are doing amazing things for the children in our community. They are the guardians of the children. Take a look. There's an organization that really cares about the welfare of children, not only in just our community, but really across the whole world. It's the Guardians of the Children. And joining me are some of the members of the organization, including some of the founding five. And if you're not familiar with what this organization does, Elwood, what is Guardians of the Children? Guardians of the Children is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. It was formed in 2006 in Texas. And uh, we opened the first chapter in Missouri in 2015 uh, with the uh, blessing of the Southwest Motorcycle Association Coalition. Mm -hmm. uh, so we work with abused kids. Uh, we do whatever we can to support them. Uh, we go to court with them. Uh, whatever they need, we get it for them. So I, I love that you do this. How do you get started with, with the families, with the kid? How does somebody contact you? And what's the next step? Because I know there's somebody could be watching right now that needs help and they don't know how to reach you or what the steps are involved to get the help? Usually the uh, people from family services, that sort of thing, the victims advocates, they're in touch with these people and they send them our way. But the, an individual can contact us and uh, you know we'll, we'll be glad to get involved. Is it, do you see a great need and uh, unfortunately a lot of child abuse in our area? Uh, absolutely. It's, uh, I don't know that it's any more prevalent than it was, but at this time it's starting to come to the surface. When is the last time you watched a newscast or picked up a newspaper when there was not a story about child abuse in it? Uh, it's there. The statistics, one in three girls will be abused by the time they're 18 years old, one in five boys. Uh, the average perpetrator, if he's not put in jail or stopped, he will perpetrate on 400 kids in his lifetime. Now, let's say somebody wants to get involved and to help. Like, is there a membership process? How does, what, what do you need? Do you need volunteers? Do you need money? How does it work? Well, uh, we, need, we need volunteers, for sure. Uh, anyone can help us. In order to wear a back patch, and uh, you have to have a motorcycle, you go through a, a process of a year, and then at the end of the year, you'll be given a back patch, which lets you get more involved with the children. Now, every one of our people have to go through an NCIC background check. That has to be cleared before they have any contact with anyone. I love that, you know, you don't sometimes associate biking with helping the kids because you have this persona of being rough and tough, but your hearts are so big and you're in it for this amazing reason. And what I love too, I was reading your pamphlet and something struck me, Sunshine and I were talking before and this slogan hit to my heart. When you said it, it hit to me. If you know of somebody who is being abused, if you have a tip, report it because don't let your silence drown out their cries. Don't be afraid to make a report because they're crying. Don't be silent about it. I think that's very powerful. It is, it really is. So if somebody wants to volunteer or get in touch with you or even make a report, what's the best way to get in touch with you and for the children? Well, of we have uh, meetings the first Friday of the month at the 9-1 Center in uh, Marshfield, Missouri. That's the best place. You can come in, you can meet everyone, you can talk to us, you can see what we do. Uh, do you have uh, a website? We have a website on Facebook. It's uh, Guardians of the Children Show Me. And then uh, there's a international website, uh, guardiansofthechildren.com. You have to get in touch with them. I'm telling you, I was talking to them before this interview, and they will not stop until they help everybody in this community. You call, give the tip. They were on a case for over six years. I'm telling you, they have giant hearts. And again, don't let your silence drown out their cries. Guardians of the Children, please contact them if you have a report. Report it. Don't be silent. You have to help. Thank you guys so much. I Thank appreciate you, Jeremy. everything you're doing. Thank you so much. Thank you for having us. I love them so much. They are the, you know, sometimes I think uh, bikers get a, a bad rap for being maybe too rough and tough and people are scared of them. Yeah. Nicest people ever. And what they were talking to me about before we started recording was a lot of the bikers do this because they have been abused themselves. Wow. And they want to help the other, the kids before it happens to them. Or if it happens, they're gonna help them no matter what. I so I could see, I know, I, 
it, it did me too because you're talking to these people who normally if you saw maybe walking down the street you'd be like oh I'm scared you know you see the leather and the bikes and I'm not a biker at all but you don't know their story everybody has a story and That's to true. hear them talk about how they were abused and they said we need to help and it, it just I loved their stories and it's a great organization. They're fighting the good fight, uh, especially for a good cause that is only going to make the world better. Yeah, and they're looking, of course, for new members. Now, as you could hear from, from the story, now to be a member and to get the patch, you have to have a motorcycle. So okay. I'm out. Yeah, I don't I'm have out one. Too. I'm out, too. Yeah, but you can always volunteer. Mm -hmm. You can also donate. Uh, they had a great pamphlet. If you go to their website, they'll show you how those donations are used for the community, what they need because just imagine being a scared child away from your parents or maybe with one of your parents and your life is uprooted. It's a whole new world. Like we're gonna get you safe, but you have to get acclimated right. to your new normal. Yeah, and man, I can't even imagine what that looks like through the eyes of those children. Yeah, if you've ever been to the Victim Center or the Harmony House, it is overwhelming and just be prepared to cry because hearing the stories and seeing the kids in real life, and they give tours by the way, the Victim Center and the Harmony House give tours and everybody in this community rallies together to help the victims of domestic and child abuse. Nobody, nobody deserves that. No, nope, not at all. Let's eradicate it, and they're doing a great job doing that. Yes, they are. So stay right tuned. We're having more fun after this. Yes, we are. I'm hungry, too. <laughs> yeah, can I'm I, glad, I'm glad we're eating. I'm glad we're eating coming up. <laughs> Dishnets coming up soon. My stomach is there. It's a rumbling.